I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hey, RV travel buddies. Today is Sunday, and today is fix things again. So we've been having trouble with the slide in our bedroom leaking and we've been doing all kinds of stuff to prevent it and we even oh, here I'll show you come through here <coughs> so we've been we actually blocked our windows so this is what they look like and what we did is we thought well maybe the windows are leaking and that's not the case I come over to the other side here and if you look above we block those windows too and it's still leaking and we've checked every seal in fact we've gone through everything it's got uh, a seam and we've resealed it and still no success so now we're going to check the level and then uh, really analyze the top section and see what the deal is so we'll let you know what we find out also today we're going to uh, put some bleach in our water tank since we're not really using it and then we're going to siphon it through our whole system so what we're going to do is open up our uh, water tank here <laughs> and uh, they're cooking next door huh? we got smoke coming in and uh, adding a cup of uh, bleach to it and then we're going to run it through the system and then we'll rinse it out a few times uh, in the next week or so so here we go I'm just trying to get this on my clothes. Alright, then we're going to add water to the tank. And I want to make sure to run it through all of our sinks, all of our bathrooms, everything. And uh, try to get our pipes purified a little bit. Meanwhile, we have city water too, so we're good for water, so that's all there is to it. So on the Montanas, when it comes to filling up your tank, if you're on city water, all it is is a flip of a switch and you can start filling your tank. My tank is completely empty and I'm going to fill it up about halfway and make sure that bleach is uh, mixed in. And then I'm going to start running that water through my pump into all my different um, faucets and pipes to help purify our system a little bit. So all we do on the Montana is flip this little switch I <laughs> got it and now you can hear the water actually filling up the tank so I'll run that for a while and then shut it off and then we're good so that's how we do it so bravery is not in our family except for my wife so anyway she's gonna go up on the roof and the reason we do that is she weighs about 100 pounds less than me and she may have to stand on the slide and I don't like heights that well so my brave wife is going to <laughs> tackle, <laughs> tackle the ladder and go up and inspect the slide again until we figure out what's making it leak so I've got a sister so hold on Hello. <laughs> my first test is going to be the level test okay I'm going to sit down and it's wet. So the first thing Sherry's going to do up there is check and uh, get a level. We have a really good level and check out if we're tilting one side to another and see if that could be the cause of our leak. Okay, first test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this front, front is going forward to back. Yeah. This front corner is, or the front is little very very slightly downhill very little though okay now laying it flat it's 
same thing. This front corner is slightly downhill, which makes sense because that's where the water is pooling. So we need, so the front end needs to come up. It's it's so minor though. That's, what, but that would explain why it's pooling in that one corner. Seeing if I can see any water underneath here. Mm -hmm. More. And you can do it from down there. Maybe if you. So yeah, uh, Sherry took some uh, water bottles up there, and she's drying it off. And we're gonna pour some water and see if we can see what the path of the water is um, doing. So we can try to detect where the water is coming in. And the thing is, the water is only coming into the corner here this area. So we eliminated the windows by putting those covers on and we still had a leak. So uh, we've sealed everything, uh, resealed it and still have a leak. So now it's got to be coming through the top or the side. But the water, there's a step up here and so the water is hitting like a foot up. So it's not the floor. So it eliminates anything seeping from or um, <laughs> it's eliminating anything uh, uh, wicking into the floor here because it's sealed. So we'll figure this out. Hang on. So what are you doing now? I'm just ex uh, looking at how the water was flowing when I poured some down. I'm going to pour some off the other end to see if it pulls down this way as well. Okay. Definitely a channel it's following. Yep, it's coming right down here. So you need to watch that end to see if it's doing anything funny there. Let's see it coming down. Looks pretty normal. So Sherry came down because we just can't find anything down there. However, when I was standing over here, you noticed that maybe the seams right here might be our leak. Because if you look at them closely, you can see there's a little darkness in two spots. Right here and right through here. And we're thinking, that's got to be the only place, because we've done every water test up above, and it looks great. So, I think we're going to try to seal those again. So, stay tuned. So, this one, definitely think a little water is going through. This one definitely. I can actually see the water going in this one. I think, I think we might have found our culprit. Now i got to figure out how we're going to seal it. Okay, so what we're going to do is it's wet out and when we real wet and cold. So what we're going to do is just temporarily seal it with electrical tape, just a strip of electrical tape all the way across. And then when we get a little bit better weather, we'll silicone it, dry it out really thorough, and then silicone it. But for now, we got to get it fixed because it's been raining like crazy. So I'm going to go get some electrical tape and we're going to put that on. And we're going to dry it off the best we can. So hopefully that will be our fix for now. Okay, so the finished product isn't pretty, but it's only temporary. So what we used was electrical tape, and you can see what we did up here is we kind of reinforced the corners just to double check to make sure it's not leaking there. And then we ran a st uh, electrical tape all the way along the seam to this corner. And yeah, I know, I know it's not pretty, but we have really bad weather and we have a little bit of a dry spell here today, but it's going to start raining again. And I just don't want to put silicone in there if it's not adhering well. 
So this is just a temporary fix, plus it'll give us a chance to dry out the corner and uh, um, find out if this was actually the culprit. So bear with us folks, we'll figure it out. So, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it's driving us crazy, but we'll figure it out. I think that's the fix, so we'll let you know. So guys, uh, now that we get the seam sealed on the slide, the other thing is now we put bleach in the water I filled up the tank about half full and shut off the main water and what I want to show you here is the reason everybody from Alaska Oregon Washington are heading down south is because it's been raining like a bear here so to give you an idea how bad it is this is our front door right here and uh, if you'll see, and I gotta, I'm going to take the camera close, because it's a mud hole. And we have to be so careful. Look at the mud. That's our front door. And it's muddy all the way through here. And if you come around here, it's like a river all the way through. And <laughs> so everything is soaked everything is wet and that's why we didn't seal that um, seam right now because it's just wet and uh, we got to get that leak to stop now so Sherry's drying it up as best we can and we've been running heaters under there and uh, so we hope that's the fix but as you can see in Washington State it is enormously soggy so it's really causing problems up here if you got a RV I don't care if it's new like ours or older you're gonna find this kind of stuff and I guess the best word is, is you seen our last uh, show on our uh, RV talk radio you better love your RV because it'll love you back if you take care of it so let's see how this all works so sure he's just running some water through so you get the bleach to it can you smell the bleach? Mm -hmm. So, so we uh, come around here. So we uh, have been running the water through everything: uh, the toilet, the shower, the kitchen, um, bathroom sink, this sink, hot water tank, and we're just uh, getting it all through the lines. We're going to do this all day long, and then eventually we're going to start washing it out. So we're cooking or anything like that for the next few days. Uh, even when we switch back to the city water, there'll still be a little bit of bleach in it. It'll take a while to get it out, but it's well worth it. So uh, anytime we got to cook or something like that, we have bottled water, so we're in good shape. So this is just a good thing to do. Our RV is about three, two and a half years old. So uh, I don't know if this has ever been done to it, but it'd be nice to uh, uh, make sure that the all bacteria and that our water, drinking water is safe because we will be depending on our water tank pretty soon so that's it for now hi guys this is Rob again I wanted to review something with you that one of our viewers was asking about and it has to do with our bike rack and so I was telling them about problems people have been having coming back from Alaska that their bike racks have been breaking off or bending really bad from all the bad roads so it got me to thinking, how can I get my bike rack from bouncing so much? So I thought well, we could do something very simple by using some uh, straps that you can tighten down by hand. So this is what I came up with. So around here, we installed straps right here. And what they're going to do is they're, they come down here and they're going to prevent this from shifting so much when I have the bicycles on it. You can see this thing has a lot of play in it. And so what's been happening is down here, um, people have been bending the insert or actually literally breaking that off, even though it's iron, from the impact of the, of the bouncing going on on the bad roads. So once we have the bikes on here and have solid weight we're going to use these straps on both sides and put some pressure more of the pressure 
climb the ladder, which is very engineered, very strong. So that's our cure for the problem. Uh, we'll let you know later how well that worked out. And we hope it's a good idea for you. It'd be real terrible to be going down the road and find out you've been dragging your bikes for t 10 miles down the road. So I think a very simple fix like that will prevent those from breaking. So I hope that works for you. And another mission we have today is we're going to be looking for a toolbox for cinder, uh, no toolbox, toy box for cinder. Because if you look down in the corner here, cinder, who's eating my, my wife's sweater. Cinder, come back here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good dog. Drop it. Cinder, Cinder. drop it. <laughs> so maybe she's not being a good girl right now, so she may not get a new toy box. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but you can see she's got a lot of toys. <laughs> anyway, and apparently they're not enough because she wants to eat <laughs> Sherry's sweater. So we got the sweater back. Cinder. What were you doing? Cinder, did you eat mom's sweater? Really? Anyway, we'll show you a toy, <laughs> toy box when uh, we're done uh, shopping. So, a <laughs> little, little humor here at the RV Travel Quest. Hi guys, this is Rob. And... This is Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been throwing the camera in front of her without uh, her permission all day. Yes. Anyway... So, apparently your sweater survived Cinder, okay? Yeah, my sweater is fine. Okay, so, we, we've been just working on the RV all day. And our weather's been terrible, except today we actually got some sunshine temporarily till the next rainstorm. Hopefully our fix will work. And now we're going shopping. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for what? We're go looking for a toy box for the dog's toys. <laughs> We've got our priorities, so we're looking for a toy box. Uh, nothing too fancy, but something that looks nice, at least on the floor. And got to take a movie back. And uh, Stay back. I think we might stop and check on a daycare for Cinder for the event that's happening to us next month. Uh, anything else? No. Nope. Alright guys, well, if we don't tell you now we'll tell you later we always appreciate you watching our channel and we're getting much closer to doing some traveling here and uh holidays are coming so lots of cool things going on and uh cinder's excited and we truly appreciate you watching our channel so let's go shopping bye hi guys just want to let you know that we uh did get cinder's new toy box Nothing very special, but we used a Tupperware box. And uh, hard to concentrate because the Seahawks are playing right now. But this is her new toy box. And that's where we're putting all of her toys. And she got a new toy today. <laughs> what you got, Cinder? What you got? So, she's a very happy dog today. So anyway, this is Rob from... RV Travel Quest. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.